Mitral valve prolapse is a common condition and can be associated with an increased risk of sudden cardiac death when associated with another valvular abnormality, the mitral annular disjunction, MAP. Mitral annular disjunction is a structural abnormality whereby there is a distinct separation of the mitral valve annulus and the basal portion of the posterolateral ventricular myocardium, a region which would normally be attached. It is a localized abnormality usually affecting the ventricular myocardium directly under the posterior mitral valve leaflet, typically in the region of the P1 and P2 mitral valve scallops, and is detectable during ventricular systole only when the mitral annulus slides and detaches from the ventricular myocardium by a variable distance ranging from a few millimeters to more than 10 millimeters. In the setting of suspected a mitral valve prolapse, CMR is able to accurately measure left ventricle volume and to quantify mitral regurgitation and to more precisely detect and assess the severity of MAD. We use a balanced steady state free processing seen in images to acquire the three standard long axis view for chambers to chambers and left ventricle outflow track. On three chambers long axis view, the length of the mitral annulus disjunction is measured from the left atrial wall posterior mitral valve leaflet junction to the top of the left ventricle infrabasal wall during end systole. On the same systolic frame, the prolapsed distance is measured as the maximum distance of the leaflet beyond the mitral annulus. In this area, as the result of the abnormal contractility produced by MAD and mechanical stretch, we can see fibrosis and LGE. Tissue characterization is another piece of the mitral valve prolapse puzzle that CMR adds. In fact, the connection between mitral valve prolapse with or without MAD and macrofibrosis is well established as described by the group of the Padua University, which consider a typical LGE pattern in the basal infralateral wall and the posteromedial papillary muscle. So, CMR can help and stratify MAD patient as risk for malignant arrhythmias as it allows the detection of a focal or diffuse fibrosis that may be responsible for re-entry circuits, providing also evidence of early structure and function remodeling. Recent CMR techniques such as T1 mapping and CMR fissure tracking are the added value to identify subclinical left ventricle tissue changes in patients with MED and mitral valve prolapse.